Hello world, Shotgun here, back with another video. Now in this video we're fixing Metasploit shenanigans again. At this point I should just name my channel Fixing Metasploit shenanigans. But yeah, anyway, um, so a lot of you guys have been commenting how do you fix this, database not found, or PostgreSQL not connected, uh, database not connected error in Metasploit, and I've decided to do a video on that one. Now let's just get started then. As always, every time we start a Metasploit, MSF update, um, root password, just to make sure that we've got every exploit up to date. Now it has found a couple of updates and it is installing the update as we speak. So the upgrade was successful. Um, now let's just run the um, MSF console. As you can see, it's already saying no local database has been connected. Uh, so the feature will not be available. Um, yeah. Now, if I do db on the score status, um, it is going to tell me, yeah, there's a Postgres go selected, but there's no connection. Now, as it has already mentioned earlier, um, there's not much of a difference, but some of the features might not be available. So in order to get started, let's just go out of the Metasploit. And we'll do MSF console space in it, and it will initialize the MSF console. Um, there you go. Now, if I do DVNS status, it'll still say, "Yeah, there's no connection." Good. Okay. Now we're inside the Metasploit. Now what we're gonna do is MSF DB space delete. Now it is going to delete any of the existing databases. Would you like to delete your existing data and configuration? Yes, please. And yeah, so running delete coming out of the database, no longer running, um, do nothing. Okay, so everything has been deleted, cool. Now we'll start a new database. So we'll do msfdb space initialize. Now it will Ask me if I want to do it. I'll just do yes. Now we'll create a database at uh, the root folder and the database. Creating a database user. Now this is this is the point where it's going to ask me for all the username and password from a database schema. Um, initial web service account. I'll just call it root. Um, I'll just leave the password blank for now, um, but I'll change it later. Okay, cool. Now, if I do db on this good status now, so there's no connection. Right. Now I'll just go out of the Metasploit, um, clear everything, and I'm just going to restart my Postgres skill. Now I'll just do brew services um, restart. Postgres skill. Uh, there we go. Now it will restart the Postgres skill. Now, if you haven't installed, if you get error on this line, um, that means your homebrew, or that means your Postgres skill wasn't installed using a homebrew. Um, you'll have to manually restart the thing. Um, in order to do that, what you can do is pz underscore ctl um, space minus d space. You go to your folder, so user, local, var, and there it is, Postgres. And you just do stop, space, minus m, and you do it fast. So it is going to stop, and then you'll have to change the stop to start, and then start the Postgres skill again. Now, if it doesn't work, I'll just leave a link in the description that allows you to download the um, GUI form of the Postgres SQL you know, manager sort of thing. So um, there it is. So it's called github.com slash um, Macatech and then Postgres preferences. Um, now, what this thing does is it helps you start and stop your Postgres 
uh, using this GUI thingy. It's pretty much straightforward. You just go to the link, you just go to install instruction and it's going to give you the DMG file and it's just like installing any other application. It's easy as that. So you can give it a go. Um, I just don't have to run it because I do have a homebrew uh, based Postgres. So uh, clear it and I'll just do MSF console again. There you go, DBMS got status, this is connected to the remote data service, um, connection types, this one, this one, this one, there you go. Now that's how you fix no database connected or PostgreSQL mod connected error on Metasploit. If this video ended up helping you guys in any way, then please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel for more pen testing sort of videos. And if you guys have any problems, just let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you guys out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll Hopefully see you guys in another video. Um, until then, stay awesome. Happy pen testing.